macaroni salad. Let's do this. Alright, we I'm doing this really quick. Um, I like to make a batch of macaroni salad and potato salad. They both take the same exact ingredients. Right now, we've got a package of macaroni. It says here, you can use the big macaroni, little macaroni. This happens to be from the Mexican aisle because I like the little macaroni. Um, I, I have both. I do. I got the both the big one. You know the mac and cheese size, the bigger one. These are the ones you get in the craft macaroni, I think. No, you get the little skinny ones. But anyway, these are really small. And these are the ones I like. And you can get all kinds of noodles down the Mexican aisle, y'all. Okay, so we're going to get we're boiling that. And I'll get back to you with the ingredients. I just want to give you a little, um, you know, how I cut um, pickles. So um, these are, I got lots of these little guys. These little baby, baby pickles. Okay, so when I use them, what I like to do, I do the same with a lot of uh, like tomatoes and stuff like that. Don't cut all the way down. Cut strips. I do like with these little guys you can probably do like three okay and then you put it back together right and then it doesn't you don't have to be perfect if you miss if one slides out or whatever it doesn't matter you're not trying to be perfect here you just try to make your life a little easier and then and then you do this you just and it just hold I'd rather do this than to do each little sliver or each slice individually it's just a little you know how I like to do it Got my bowl behind me over here because I needed room. So ingredients. Okay, um, you're gonna find one of the ingredients. You're gonna go what? Just do it. All right, just do it. You're gonna love it. Okay, so you cook your your. Um, now if you get the small bag in the Mexican aisle, they're really small. Plenty for your family. But if you want to go down the pasta aisle and get one of the bigger bags then you know you have to figure out how much how many vegetables how many cups of vegetables do you need for that meaning the celery the pickles the um you know the long green onions whatever it is you're going to put in your cell now i don't buy the olives chopped because they cost more i chop them myself y'all should be doing that too what are you paying them to dice it up for you just cut them yourself now some of you are going oh, olives what about pimento? I don't like pimento. Well, it's not that I don't like it. I just think it's a waste of money to put in there. I don't know. Some of you like it. Put it in. Um, all it, black olives. Some people do green. Okay. No. You want black olives. Why? Olive is a salt. Yes, it is. And it's got an amazing flavor. Now, these ingredients are the same ingredients you use for macaroni salad, potato salad, chicken salad tuna salad all of them take the same ingredients okay now what I do when I cut these up is I just lay them out here you can use your food processor but what are you gonna do when you don't have that learn how to do things without that stuff I put my hand over it and I start cutting at an angle see my knife this way you're not going up and down. You're not going in. You're just going at a slight angle. You're not. You're not like this. You're. You're. You're at um, like 45 degrees. Okay, just a little. You just want to get it going sideways. A little, not completely to the left, but downward. And you just hold these underneath. And the idea is to first get most of them chopped in half. Once you get them chopped in half, so they're not rolling around on you, then then that's when you want your big butcher knife, but this one's fine. Or you can continue doing this. And then just hold them in place. Just be careful when you get close to your hand.
and putting your hand here just stops him from moving away from you, which <laughs> means a lot to me. <laughs> just makes my life a little bit easier. If you have the bigger knife, it's, it's, um, which I don't want to dirty it because I'm going to be using this one. And I'm almost done. I guess I can get it and show you, but. I'm hitting the edge of the cutting board over here, y'all. I'm not slamming my knife down. This is a really light movement. You're just rocking it. But my the this part of my knife was hitting the other cutting board over here. So it sits a little bit higher than this one. Now you want to do your eggs, you know, your hard-boiled eggs and pimento, by, by all means you do that. I don't. Sometimes I'll put the egg in, you know, if I want, if I'm taking it someplace for like a buffet or something like that. But if it's just for us, I ain't doing that. But we don't care for it that much. That was a whole can of black olives. We got our celery, our pickles, and our olives. I put in here, I don't put nothing else on. Don't be putting no funky stuff in your food. Your kids won't eat it. Teaspoon. I'm going to do a teaspoon and a quarter. Pink Himalayan salt. You can use whatever salt you want. You could even use iodized salt because you do need that iodine in your body, you know. Pepper, yeah. Oh, I gotta refill my pepper. Okay, we like lots of pepper. Jeremy's not gonna eat this. I'm gonna do a teaspoon and almost two teaspoons, about a teaspoon and a half. Salt I will add after I taste it. You can see the pepper, the salt's underneath it. Now, the salt I will add after I taste it. I, I added some, a teaspoon and a quarter. And that I add as I go because you can ruin your food very quickly with salt. All right. And here's my pasta. Which Christopher is really excited because it's his favorite. Um, and I just make this and I keep it in the fridge and he just likes to grab bowls of it and eat it, you know, and then I'll make like barbecue chicken or ribs and I, we like the beef ribs ourselves. We don't really care for the pork ones. They're just too, well, for one, we're not supposed to be eating pork, which is, you know, rather, um, not new. I knew before, but I just kind of dismissed it. But now I'm a lot more clear that, um, yeah, I'm not supposed to be eating it. So, um, but we were never big fans of the pork rib anyway, just um, because it's, I never found it to be juicy. I always found it to be rather coarse and hard to chew and all that good stuff. And you're gonna use, start off with a cup of mayonnaise, you're probably going to end up using two cups though, okay? That's just, I'll see that. Probably going to end up using two cups. Ah! It's filling, you guys. I Okay, I bought a tripod. Yes, I did. I bought a tripod. Well, guess what happened to my tripod? It broke because it was a cheapie. Son of a gun. I was so mad. I was so happy because I'm like, oh my goodness, I got my tripod. And I got it for five bucks in an Amazon bin in one of them stores, you know, the Amazon bin. Yeah, bring it home. It lasted, what, one or two times? Okay, 
So we're back. You're sitting on some paper towels right now. Yeah, you are. All right. So this is, you can see the olives. Now, don't knock the olives till you try it. I'm telling you, that's why you don't want to put in a whole lot of salt because those olives are a natural salt and they're also a diuretic. If, I don't know if you've ever eaten <laughs> fast for a couple of days and then go eat something and then eat some olives. Lord, they will clean out your system because it's a natural salt. It's natural, um, what do you call it? Laxative. Yes, it is. Um, yeah, I will taste it once it's all mixed up. Now, if you want to add color, you do your pimento. You can do your eggs. Like I said, we don't we don't do all that. We I cook to eat. I cook so my boys will eat. I don't cook so it looks pretty. I used to cook so it looked pretty when I got paid. Um, because then, you know, people eat with their eyes. But I also made food taste good. But here, I'm not gonna put stuff in that they don't like. Now I do have pimento in my food storage, not a lot, a few jars. So if we're, you know, if I do have people living here and they're like, oh, I love pimento, I can say, here you go. But I, don't, I think I got like two or three small jars. You know, they come those little jars. All right, now I'm gonna taste it. And we're tasting it for pepper and we're tasting, tasting it for salt. Mmm. You guys. It's perfect. I would take the quarter out. Just do a teaspoon of salt. Take the quarter, te take the quarter out. But I am going to add some more mayonnaise. It's not overly salty, but it has a little bit more than you would want because of the pickles because of the olives just do a teaspoon and we're talking the small mexican package of pasta okay of the um macaroni i'm not talking the one that you buy over in the pasta section where they're big that then you could probably just leave that salt alone ah what happened? oh i flipped it right up on me Okay. All right, I'm going to try it again. Oh my gosh. Do the same thing. Same ingredients. Boil potatoes. And mix them in. Now when you mix them in, don't leave them whole square potatoes. Mash them up in there. Get them all busy in there. I don't like potato salad in chunky chunks. You know, chunky chunks, you know, like little chunks. I don't like that. I want my potato salad to be on the mushy side. All right. That is how you make your... macaroni salad. You're going to love it. Your kids are going to love it. Quick, easy, done. Doesn't that look good? 